If you want a farm, you are no stranger to equipment. In fact, that may be the reason you have a farm is just to run equipment. I love it. We all love it. It's fun and exciting. There's skid steers, there's loaders, there's tractors, there's compact tractors, there's mini skid steers, ditch witches, you name it. They're all over the place. What you probably haven't seen on a farm yet is a compact wheel loader. That's what we're going to talk about today and how it can possibly save you time and money on your farm or see if it's even right for your operation. So recently, this past fall, we were at the Expo in Moultrie, Georgia, and it's one of my favorite times of the year seeing all the new equipment. There were electric tractors, there were new small orchard tractors that would probably fit here in the southeast United States. But then I was walking by and I saw this thing, and obviously it caught my eye because it kind of looks really funny. And so I actually knew the guy, Liam, awesome guy, who was selling it. And so ran up to him we talked about it for a long time and he had just picked up this line of giant compact loaders so i immediately came back and did a lot of research and these are very very popular items in europe uh, you'll see why as we start to drive them around work with logs and in forestry they've got very specific use cases but i thought it should be more adaptable on certain farm situations and possibly one like our operation that has a warehouse a greenhouse, and we have to go in tight spaces to get in and out of our pole barn where there are additional things stored on shelves. So like I said, there are many brands to choose from, but let's talk about this giant that Liam delivered to us today. This is one of the very few that have an electric option. This model is the giant G2200E. So Liam was kind enough to drop off the E version because he knew we were gonna be going in and out of the greenhouse in and out of the warehouse and we didn't necessarily want to deal with those fumes coming up in, in our faces so an electric option is huge in this device giant which i love to play on the name right so you think of a wheel loader you think of big huge loaders that you would see on mulching operations and moving massive mounds of dirt on the roadside but the play on words is for the giant and it is very aptly named this thing is fast it is very maneuverable and it is a great product. The 2200E model is in the midline here. They've got a smaller stand-on version that's 22 horsepower Honda engine that is about 1,200 pounds roughly, all the way up to a 5,000 version, which is just under 10,000 pounds, and it's your 74 horsepower DEF free, of course. So the great thing about this version, it's the middle of the line as far as size is concerned, and it is an electric version. So very different from what you're used to on your farm yet, but they're coming, trust me. So why would you consider a compact wheel loader over a compact track loader or a true wheeled skid steer? These things are a lot newer. They're not as proven in the US, although their they're older brothers, the big loaders definitely are. So, and they're a lot more expensive. I'm just being frank and honest about it, but your total cost of ownership is way less because of fuel prices, maintenance, et cetera. Great warranty on the battery and everything else. But let's talk about the wheel loader itself. It's articulating. You know what that means? It spins a little differently. I would not dare take a skid steer or a track loader or even a compact uh, uh, stand-on skid steer onto the zoysia grass. My wife would kill me. We spend so much time on this lawn, we want it to have be, you know, it's a center of pride for us. This thing, no problem. Since it articulates, it spins. I've driven it all over this yard. It doesn't tear up at all. Very low ground pressure, but more importantly than that, the wheels track. They don't turn, they don't spin, they don't skid like a skid steer. That's another great thing going into the warehouse transitioning over, loading firewood or whatever task I need to do, the wheels don't skid across, so my tires are gonna last a lot longer. It's a lot less wear and tear on the axles, 
and a lot less wear and tear all over the place. All right, for those of you that have never driven a loader before, it is a little bit different operation. Wheel, and the reason they have this handle is because this is what you're doing constantly. Just like a steering wheel, but it's usually one hand. The other hand on the joystick. The joystick is simple motion for your boom. The thing I've loved about this so far is it's a self-leveling boom. Wherever I'm positioned, is it stays in position going up and down. It's great. The other thing is it's running right now. It's just like a golf cart or an electric forklift. It's quiet as it can be. So you could be doing things that uh, you just need to be quiet, like, as in a warehouse and greenhouse, and there's no problem to it. We've been running this thing a lot today, and the battery power is still at 90%. When Liam dropped it off, he said, you got a good six to eight working hours in it, and I didn't really believe him. I was always nervous about electric, but the one thing about this is not an electric car where I could be 40 miles away. I'm always gonna be on the farm, ready for a quick charge, but this thing has really held its power. And I think we're gonna see a, a lot of that in ag and specialty ag over the next few years. The thing that really has me sold on these devices besides the articulating and the wheels and the pressure and the speed is this. It is a standard skid steer attachment plate. All the money that I have invested in mowers, forks, buckets, tree shear, you name it, this machine can handle it, and that is huge. So when you're shopping for this, make sure you get in one with a universal skid steer plate just because it makes more sense. There are some brands that have their own proprietary hookup system that you would need a modification plate if you own other skid steer style attachments. All right, so I've been zooming around the farm for quite a while right now. The two things I've really noticed, three things, there's a lot I've noticed. This thing's great. It is really, really, really fast. It can be too fast if you're on bumpy roads, but it's actually got three speeds. It's got the normal turtle mode, and then it's got a decent travel mode. I think it's going 13 miles an hour, which is perfect. And then it's got a really fast mode. I don't know what it's going, but it is cruising. The road's not smooth, it'll get you. But the great thing about that is it articulates four ways. It's not really suspended, but the tires go up and down independent from what you would normally know of as suspension. So it's a really interesting ride. It was great going over rough terrain. The thing is incredibly quiet. I mean, I literally have snuck up on people behind them with this thing. It's that quiet. It's like a golf cart. The other thing that I, I just noticed that I really like in changing out the implements is it's electric over hydraulic. So it's a simple push of the button here and the pins go in and out. Seems a lot better than my skid steers, a little bit less to deal with because that's always a problem, but it's super convenient switching from the pallet forks to the bucket. All right, so what did I think about this bad boy? Well, I think a lot about it. It is awesome. It is fast. It is agile. It is certainly multi-purpose, but it's so different from anything I've operated before. I'm going to really have to ponder all the use cases where I could use this over another piece of machinery. I'm all not totally sold on electric yet, but I'm almost sold because this thing is so quiet. And I really think that the savings over time and over diesel fuel and DPF and all that stuff is well worth it. So really test drive one of these guys if you get the chance. What is your operation about is going to be the main thing to see if you can endure the steep price tag. But with the speed, with the agility, with the going from grass to concrete, terrain and the really strong lifting capacity not to mention the multiple use skid steer plate attachments it's going to be something i really really strongly consider for our operation in 2023 so this is the giant g 2200 electric go to giantloaders.com or if you're in north georgia see my buddy liam at harco